Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be talking about the first three episodes of Hulu original series Pam and Tommy. It's supposed to be eight in total but I believe from now on we're going to be getting those weekly ones. Um, we're not going to be doing uh, weekly uh, recaps, reviews. I told y'all uh, that earlier that I, that's not really what I do. So we'll just talk about the series at a whole at the very end. So this is of course about Pamela Anderson and Tommy. Tommy Lee. This is when Pamela was at the peak of her career um, doing Baywatch. Uh, barbed Wire was about to come out. She of course thought that Barbed Wire was going to be changing her career. Unfortunately it did a bomb. Tommy Lee unfortunately with his band Motley Crue at this particular point in the 90s was not as successful as it had been prior. Not only is this about the crazy love that Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson had. I mean they literally met and got married after about 96 hours of knowing each other. The series rather is about the infamous sex tape that was stolen. Of course during this particular time the uh, World Wide Web wasn't used or rather they had no idea back in what was it like 95, 96, 97, somewhere around there where the World Wide Web would be in like 2022. A website. But what side? It's this thing on the computer. This does star Lily James and Sebastian Stan as Pam and Tommy. You're gonna see them in something completely different. Like I've never seen these two actors in something quite like this. We also have Seth Rogen and Nick Offerman. I feel like episode two definitely should have been the first episode because it's it is called Pam and Tommy. So I would have expected to see a little bit more of Pam and Tommy. And in episode one, we really didn't get that. But episode one does focus more on Seth Rogen's character Rand. He's basically like. The the carpenter or the engineer somebody they're working on on their house um he's doing renovations and then Tommy Lee ends up firing them without paying them and he literally owes them so much money so honestly this whole thing about him stealing from from Tommy Lee and Pam at this point because Pam is ma they're married it's about you know like I need to get my money now Nick Offerman does uh play like a producer uh for the porn industry I'm not gonna give you guys any spoilers but I will pre-warn you about a certain thing that happens in an episode two uh just because that way you're not super shocked or in case you're watching this with your family little ones now of course all of these things are prosthetics but still we're seeing it once we hit episode two that's pretty much when we get hit hard with the sex and the nudity that is involved within these first three episodes. Obviously, I don't know what's to come with the remaining stuff, but it's a lot of stuff happening. Like, they're, I mean, they get married, so they're on their honeymoon. It's like a whole sex montage happening, you guys. And we see everything for Pamela. Well, we don't see like JJ, but we do see boobs. And then we see ass for um, Tommy. And most importantly, this is where we're getting on with what I'm pre-warning you. There is a penis shot. Here, full frontal is a whole moment, you guys. It's a very animated deal. Kind of like the biggest like spoiler, I guess, I'm going to give you guys. I don't know if that would be considered a spoiler. Some of you may consider it a spoiler, but I'm just going to pre-warn you in case you do end up watching this with your kids. I mean, I really don't think a Pam and Tommy series or movie should be watched with kids. So far with these three episodes, um, I'm digging it. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the remaining um, five episodes. They are a little under an hour. I think they're about like 45 minutes long, the episodes. I really love how everybody looks. Everybody is performances. What's great, like I said, Lee James, Sebastian Stan, probably some of the best things that I've seen them in. I will say that, you know, they're they're, they're crazy like little love nests whatever I totally felt the love between um Lily James and Sebastian Stan I feel like again they embody these two characters very very well Seth Rogen I love me some Seth Rogen you really don't even know how to feel for him because it's like well Tommy Lee screwed you over so now you're kind of screwing him over but then there's a third party involved with Pamela of course I haven't seen the sex tape I'm not somebody who's gonna go out there searching for celebrity sex tapes that's not who I am I of course I know Tommy Lee of course I know Pamela Anderson I used to watch uh, Baywatch but one of my probably favorite shows from Pamela Anderson is that VIP show do y'all remember that I remember really like I haven't seen it obviously in years but I remember really enjoying it before I do give you my score if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each other to post something new I think it is a show 
you should stream. Once uh, we get all eight episodes, we'll see whether I, I change it to binge. So if you've seen the first three episodes of Pam and Tommy, let me know down below what did you think about it. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Is it just not for you? If you haven't seen it yet, are you planning on checking it out? Or you're just like, you know what? That whole penis talk just really threw me off and I'd rather just skip it. I don't blame you. I really don't. So until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye. Thank you.